Artificial intelligence now becoming an invaluable resource in the medical field. Researchers at Stanford believe a newly developed AI tool could help fight in the fight against cancer and other diseases. They say there's definitely room for improvement, but they also believe it can help guide treatment plans and better predict patient outcomes. Our Kenny Choi spent time with researchers to understand this new tool that they are calling Sequoia. Olivier Havard is a biomedical data scientist at Stanford Medicine. This is a, an example of the uh, of a breast cancer uh, tissue. Identifying and understanding the prevalence of specific genes within that tissue is just one hurdle in the fight against certain cancers. Specifically for breast cancer, gene sets and gene signatures are being used to determine treatment. Clinicians have increasingly guided the selection of which cancer treatments, including chemotherapies, immunotherapies, and hormone-based therapies to recommend to their patients based not only on which organ a patient's cancer affects, but which genes a tumor is using to fuel its growth and spread. Stanford Medicine's new AI program, Sequoia, can analyze an image from a tumor biopsy and rapidly determine what genes are likely turned on and off in the cells it contains. The red means that the gene is very active in that area, whereas the blue means that the gene is very inactive. Analyzing this information often requires costly and time-consuming genomic sequencing and testing. Sometimes molecular tests are being done, but that's very dependent um, on the cancer type um, and is rather uncommon. Experts say gene activity altering the appearance of cells is often imperceptible to a human eye. So Havart and his team of researchers turned to artificial intelligence to find these patterns and make cancer recurrence predictions. You can see the score is very low, so we are predicting just from the image that this patient is low risk. The AI model can't yet be used in a clinical setting. It needs to be tested in clinical trials and be approved by the FDA before it's used in guiding treatment decisions. For some cancer types, researchers say the AI predicted gene activity had a more than 80% correlation with the real gene activity data. The performance of the, of the model is tissue specific. Uh, so in certain cancers, it works uh, very well. And in other cancers, there's definitely room for improvement. It's a tool that's being further refined. But even so, it was able to predict in its infancy the expression patterns of more than 15,000 different genes. It allows to make predictions of thousands of genes, depending on the tissue, uh, for cancer patients from normally expensive molecular testing. By identifying and mapping genes with the click of a button, Havart believes this tool could potentially speed up treatment decisions and ultimately make those treatments more efficient. That study was published in the Journal of Nature, the International Journal of Science. Havard says his team is improving the algorithm and studying its potential applications. He believes Sequoia could eventually reduce the need for expensive gene expression tests.